For the first time in our tenure at Penn State, we, we have an experienced team uh, led by Lamar Stevens. And, and for us at Penn State, what a powerful statement he made this summer, Lamar and his family, by returning for his senior season. Uh, they value an education. They value that degree. But they also have a belief in our staff. And Lamar has a belief in the, in the guys in that locker room. Powerful. That's a leader. It's a pioneer. It's an outlier. And for Penn State, we need guys like that. Coupled with Mike Watkins in the front court, who's as healthy as he's ever been. He had a knee injury a few years ago, and now he feels much, much better. So with those guys anchoring the defense and the offense, that bodes well for us. We've added some important firepower in Curtis Jones, a fifth-year senior, and Isaiah Brockington, a transfer who had to sit out last year to go along with Jamari and John and Miles Dredd and, and a guy that I think is really gonna emerge this year is Myrian Jones. So what you're hearing is depth, what you're hearing is experience, and what you're hearing is solutions. And, and that's what you need in the Big Ten. When the Big Ten went to 20 game league season, you, you need depth because if you're going to your 10th and 11th guy, they need, they can't, there can't be any drop off. And I believe we have that this year. I'll say we have more answers than questions. And for me, that's a luxury, an absolute luxury. Our schedule is difficult, just like last year. And that's the way we want it. It presents opportunities for us to get better and put us in position to be the most successful team that we can be by the end of the year. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we will open the floor for questions. Adam Jardin, the Columbus Dispatch. With a player like yeah. Lamar, what do you challenge him with this year? And as far as you talk about all the things he means to your program and coming back, what do you challenge him with and what do you see as a ceiling for him? You know, um, I've been sharing this with Lamar, I'll share it here today. I've been talking to him about Mamba mentality. And I think that's the next level, that Kobe Bryant mentality of every day, you're gonna win every drill. Every drill, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, two on two, three on three. Whatever the breakdown is, you go, you're the hardest worker in that drill. And if he accepts that challenge, which he has, uh, statistically right now, he's number one in all our stats and practices. And that's the way it's gotta be. And he's gotta lead the team in wins. Whatever team he's on, doesn't matter who is on his team, they need to compete at a very high level and win. There's no possessions off. Coach, uh, good morning, Coach. Like your greeting when you came in, that was good morning. Great. Um, obviously, traditional football school. What's it like for your players? You talk about expectations this year for your players. Big expectations for this year. How are they handling that? And then what are your thoughts moving forward for getting these guys moving forward and, you know, thinking, getting the tournament and making a run? I think Penn State craves good basketball. Uh, a few years ago, um, our attendance was very high as far as the last five, six home games, 11,500. Madison Square Garden, we had the most attendance, 11,500 since 2001. Penn State wants good basketball. So I understand you think it's a football school. They want it. Um, we're going to live moment to moment. We're not going to get ahead of ourselves. And we're not going to look back either. We've done that. We've already been there. Let's learn from those experiences, those shared experiences, and look forward and take this day right now. How do we get better? Well, this is what we're doing. We're promoting our program. We're promoting the Big Ten. Now, today, when we go back, we're going to have practice. In those drills, take each rep as it comes and get better. That's another moment. But if we start looking too far ahead, if we start looking at NCAA tournament, if we start looking at postseason or championships, anything like that, it's going to become very overwhelming. And we don't need that. And these kids don't need that. So we'll take it moment by moment. Questions for Coach Chambers? Left here. Mm -hmm. Coach Jack Williams, D1CoachCorner.com. Uh, hey, Jack. Mark 
Lamar Stevens seems to be the only player on the team that has a history of putting up uh, double-digit numbers consistently. Who else on your team do you uh, have? Do you believe have the ability to put up double-digit number day and night? Uh, Miles Dredd. And I think he's he had a great freshman campaign. I look forward to him taking the next step in in his progression as a basketball player. He's going to do more, not just shoot threes for us. Uh, Mike Watkins. I believe, uh, you know, struggled last year, had a lot of things going on off the floor and on the floor physically. So I look forward to him getting us to that double digit. Um, I look at Curtis, uh, Curtis Jones and Myrian Jones, guys that can produce points for us. Um, so there's four or five guys that really can get us to double figures. And, and that's got to be our offensive identity, right? We, ha we have to share the basketball. We have to limit our turnovers. Um, we got to make timely threes. We got to get really good possessions, uncontested shots. And then if we do that and defend and rebound the way we've been doing for the last four or five years, I, I think we can get multiple guys, four or five guys to double figures. Yep. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, CNHI Sports Indiana. Coach, with Lamar coming back and with the experience that you touched on, there's kind of increased expectations. How do you anticipate those teams handling ex those expectations and how do you kind of get them to handle them? Yeah, just, just like I said, moment to moment, uh, we, we can't get ahead of ourselves. And as long as we stay in the present and we're mindful and we're aware and our mantra is just get better every single day, then you're going to put yourself in that position. Uh, again, I don't want this to be a long lens where we're thinking about the end of the season in March and April. And that can't be the task here. We've been there. We've done that. We've got to learn from those experiences, learn from those setbacks, and focus on moment to moment, practice to practice, drill to drill. And that's the way it's going to be. Coach Hondo Carpenter with Spartan Nation. Tom Izzo is a stalwart in this, in this conference, obviously, but he's been a guy who's reached out to young coaches or when they first come in the league, went to play you at the Palestra when a lot of people wouldn't. Can you just talk about, I know that he's talked very fondly of you. What does he mean to this league and to you as a coach? It's a great question. Um, here, here's a guy when we're struggling last January, and um, he doesn't have to call me. He's got to focus on his own team. He has his own injuries. He has his own concerns. But he's worried about me, um, reaching out to me, um, you know, just giving me guidance. And he's done that throughout my entire tenure. Um, and I appreciate that. I appreciate his knowledge, his wisdom, his mentorship. And for a young coach in the league that's, Top to bottom, I believe the best league in the country. Um, to have somebody like that who's got your back and who's going to guide you, even though we want to, you know, beat each other so badly on, on the court, you know, he, he absolutely gets it. And he wants to make sure that this league is terrific, and he wants to make sure coaches keep their jobs and, and do the right things. And, um, you know, I'm grateful for our, our relationship. I'm grateful for our friendship. Last question on the left here. Good morning, Coach. William Boyer, BasketballSocietyOnline.com. You, you spoke about Lamar Stevens and how important he is to your program and its culture. Is there any player on the team, younger player on the team currently, that kind of exhibits the things that he shows and that they can continue and, and prolong it when he leaves and moves on from the program? Great question. Um, that, that's what's important for Penn State. We're, we're older this year. We have veterans. We have experience. We have to stay that way. So the next group of guys, John Hara, Jamari Wheeler, Trent Buttrick, Miles Dredd, MJ. And then I think there's a guy out there that no, not many people know about is Seth Lundy. He's every bit of 6'7", 218. So I believe that we have stability. We have sustainability. And that's what you need in a great program. We don't want to be a one-hit wonder. We, we want, hey, we're going to succeed this year, and we want to back that up with consistency.